Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this problem, we are going to solve the problem rotating words which was given in POD. So let's get started. Alright, so this problem states that after solving the previous problem, Karthik is stuck on yet another new problem to him by his, given to him by his teacher. The problem wants him to find out the number of unique words that can be found by cyclically rotating a given string. Cyclic rotation is defined as moving the last character of the string on the first position. Okay, so kind of like a... Okay. Rotation, yeah. You have to help him finding the maximum number of unique words that can be found by applying cyclic rotation any number of times. Okay. Given a string, print the number of this and the length of string will not be more than 50. Okay. So we have for ABCD we have four, for CC we have only one. Okay. Okay. So after reading the problem, one big thing comes in my mind and that is set or hash set or unordered set in C++, set in Python, hash set in Java, whatever you want to call. Set is a data structure that keeps only unique things inside it, right? It does not allow duplicates in it. So what I can do is I can obviously rotate these strings after every rotation, I'll put that rotated string in the set. And after I've done all the rotations, how will I know I have done all the rotations? I will basically suppose the length of the string is four. So how many rotations are possible? Four rotations are possible. Suppose ABCD, ABCD, you have ABCD, then you have DABC, then you have DACDAB. Right, and last one which is B C D A. After this again you come back to A B C D. So basi basically four rotations are possible. I'll put all these rotations in a set and then since set does not keep duplicate values, if there is a duplicate value that I'm trying to add inside the set, set will reject it. So in the end I can directly print the length of the set basically. Right? So let's try to code it. All right, so we have given a string. So we'll say given string is equal to input. All right, so then for i in range of, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I have to, we have to rotate the strings, right? So I'm going to use strings, string slicing to basically uh, take certain part of first string, append it with some back character as we go on, I mean, as we implement, you'll get to understand more about it. So for i in range, len of given string, let's go ahead and find out our current string. So current string is the rotated version of given string, which is given string. So le let's take, let's left rotate the string. So by left rotate, what I mean is, suppose we have a, b, c, d. So we'll have d, a, b, c now right or yeah so we'll have d a b c then we'll have uh, uh, d a b c then we get uh, c a c d a b and then we get b c d a these are all the four rotations possible right because after we do this rotation again we'll get a b c d right so do the left rotate what do we do is uh, you'll notice that we have we take this last character out and keep these three again we take basically if you compare it with a b c d we have d over here and a b c i mean one second if you compare this with a b c d what all we have done we have a b and we have taken the last two characters if you contain this, compare this with ABCD, you'll see we have CD, we only have, we have B here and we have CD moved, right? So this is how we're going to implement this given string. So let's take the first parts plus right. So let's take a visual example of what's going on. I mean, let's say given string. So I'll go here, Python 3, let's drop it to the shell. So what we have now is, um, we have, let's say we say name is equal to ABCD, right? Let's see what name of, I starts from zero, right? So zero, zero prints, 
this is entire string what does name of this is blank so the first thing we get is by concatenation of this and this we get abcd then we have name of one so this removes the first character and till the end of the string and then we have one so this will be the first character of the string which is a we combine these and we get bcda right then we have name two and we have name colon two which is now we combine this we get cdab right and then we have name of three we get name of colon three we get dabc right so that's how that's how we are going to combine the string so we get current string is equal to this now we what we're going to do is we're going to keep a set we'll say unique strings is equal to uh a set blank set initialize it like this now we do one thing we put unique strings dot add current string okay now we add current string and then we just do print len of current string okay so far so good let's try to run this program and see Okay, we get invalid syntax for i obviously in range uh, now we have a b c d we get four c c we get two oh we should not get two for c c right let's see what's the mistake over here so for c c let's see what our code does our code will okay so far we have suppose we have name is equal to cc so let's see name of zero should give cc so this is our one string name of one this will give c okay so in this case if we add this and this we get c so let's just see what the unique string contains set contains unique strings <clears throat> it contains cc then why are we getting okay so we accidentally printed the len of current string so we should print the len length of the set right so please avoid these kind of mistakes i'm sorry i did it but always be careful about what you do and never freak out of your logic see in this case i was 100 percent sure that my logic is correct so again check your code sometimes when your confidence is your logic is good uh, i mean i make these mistakes on this video i could have edited it and you know i've removed this mistake but it's there because so that you guys can learn something that even if you make a mistake and you're confident about your logic please be double sure about the code you have written sometimes there are things in our mind and we are not able to implement it as it is so just be careful so let's just remove this Python three code dot py. So for a b c d we should check again, right? A b c d it gives four, c c it gives one, a b a b gives two, a b a will be b a b a, and again a b a b. Okay, cool. So that's it. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, set was using set was the crux of this problem. If you don't want to use set, you could have gone for a list and you could have checked if this string is present in this list. I mean. The whole reason we use set is because of something called as optimization and time complexity of a set versus a list. Searching in a set versus searching in a list. You, if you guys know already about sets, well and good. If you don't, then you'll read about read more about it in data structures and algorithms course. And as usual, you're free to explore this and uh, give your comments, anything, any doubts or anything. I'll be happy to see you guys over there. Bye. Take care.